Lack of information and education on risk awareness, the major impediment that the country must tackle if the insecurity menace is going to be curbed. And with an approaching electioneering period, concerns of insecurity have already started to surface. Uh, my ministry is aware that without adequate security, business, businesses cannot grow as they're exposed to all forms of disruption. So what we're looking at is actually putting in structures, governance structures that are enterprise-wide in the organization so we can understand risks in all perspectives because risks actually have a good relationship from one side to the other one. To this end, according to the Justice Minister, the government has undertaken to expedite the required legislations that will see a peaceful election, not to mention the anti-terror bill that is on the floor of the House. There is resistance, particularly from uh, some of our Muslim brothers, but what we want to tell them is that terrorism knows no tribe, knows no race, respects no boundaries or religion. We are all victims and we are all exposed. Therefore, we must do whatever is necessary to ensure that we have the tools to combat terrorism, and foremost amongst this should be the legal instruments. NCBDA Chair Timothy Morioki called on authorities to emulate best practices that have been employed by other cities in the world that have managed serious security threats. We must engage with those who have offered solutions to these cities and customize visionary solutions to meet Kenya needs. The NCBDA chair further pointed out impunity and corruption as the fodder that have seen brewing insecurity in the country. That act of, of impunity, that act of corruption, is the one that is directly contributing to insecurity in this place. Private to the fact that the fight against terrorism and insecurity is not a government reserve, the business community members present at the meeting were challenged to embrace a public-private partnership in an effort of assuring security for all in the country. Violet Makendo, GBS News.